Where ESPN's Marty Smith is joining us, talking some college football just a couple of days away. Marty, good morning. How are you? I would be so much better if my cell phone was functional <laughs> in my own primary residence. It is such the bane of my existence. <laughs> However, I am. If y'all saw me, I'm like the dude holding the tin full up in the air, you know, trying to find a signal. I mean, my neighbors are probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. But so grateful to spend time with you guys this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. You are That's the old great. commercial of Can You Hear Me Now yeah. this morning is what I'm hearing. Seriously, right now, Marty. I, it's pathetic. I just don't understand. You should, if y'all would have seen the letters and the, the, the four-letter words coming out of my mouth about five minutes ago. I would ask you. You sound like us in the morning. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, uh, hey, Marty, I know you are uh, involved in some really cool stuff we'll talk about and, and game change. Want to know more about this and, and what uh, you are doing as the college football season begins and talking about this morning. But, um, hey, I've got to ask you first, this Tennessee football team has some high expectations going forward into week one on Saturday and Nico Iamaliava and the hype. You guys get to sit down with every coach uh, at SEC Media Days. You and, and Ryan McGee do a terrific job. Do you get the sense that Josh Heupel is believing in his team at a high level and, and kind of buying this hype internally that a lot of us are talking about externally? Yes, he does. And you should have that expectation. They have talent everywhere. He's built tremendous depth. And it's funny, in the various markets around the conference and around the country, there's so many coaches that have had to turn a culture, whether that's Mike Elko down in College Station, Billy Napier in Gainesville. When Kirby showed up in Athens, he had to do it. And that's exactly the case for Josh, obviously. And he's done it. They have great competitive stamina and great depth and so much talent and Nico Iamaleava, I'm still learning learning that one, but um, absolute stud. I mean, can just rip it. And it was fun at media days talking to Coach Hopple about, about Nico and how when you have somebody with that kind of God-given ability, and they're an artist, truly. There are certain athletes that have an artistic talent just from their God-given ability, but they need to work with the system, and so how do you cultivate and take that artistic talent, turn it loose within the parameters and the structure of what you want to do schematically? What's that challenge? And you got to let them paint. I mean, you just do. you got to let them paint. And I think that young man is going to be a hell of a painter uh, starting this year. He was very good in the bowl game. If I was a Vol fan, man, I would be as bullish as I've been in a very long time. Um, really good defense coming back, a lot of physicality, and one of the greatest places to play in the world. So I'd be very, very bullish. Marty Smith of ESPN and Marty McGee. Marty, just real quick, man. Saturday mornings when I hear you and Ron McGee, you hear me? I mm -hmm. absolutely love it in my truck. I just need you Thank to know you. that. I'm, I'm making an appointment for that, okay? Uh, um, but I also heard you guys' this conversation this, this past week with Nick Saban and Greg Sankey. I think you guys yep. did the SEC Championship. And both of them to a T pretty much said, you asked them how they want to see the college football outlook in the next like five or 15 years however long it was and they said they wanted the essence to stay there and that's one thing i just want to ask you about too like now that we got the nil somewhat figured out in a sense like we saw this past all season where this summer coach hypo flipped a couple of guys that had bigger bags at other places and go get a five-star out of the carolinas and you know another uh five-star quarterback here at nashville like recruiting to their point of what Nick Saban said, like, you still want to develop young men to be better than when you first got them on campus. We seen Coach Hypo somewhat do that and what, what Sankey and Coach Saban wanted? I don't think there's any doubt. Let's just look at the quarterback position. I mean, Hendon Hooker came over from Virginia Tech as a good player, and Josh Hypo made him an icon in Knoxville, Tennessee, right? Joe Milton came over from the University of Michigan and was an unbelievably god gift and talent but unpolished, and now he's an NFL quarterback. Like, he is a developmental coach, but this is an era, don't get it twisted, where at the end of the year, a lot of players, the vast majority of players, aren't walking into the coach's office going, hey, man, what do I have to do developmentally to see the field next year? It's how much am I going to make. 
that's just where we are. And that's not an indictment against the players. That's the climate in which they're working. And so to be able to do what Coach Heupel is doing is wonderful. You want to develop them for the NFL because that's the ultimate goal for a lot of these young people. But it's interesting. I want to see. I just look forward to the time when there are actually perimeters and the portal scope where everybody's working on the same level because that's not the case right now. And as a result, there have been some universities, whether that's if you just look at the state level, there are some states that have passed legislation that are tremendously beneficial to being able to pay high school players. Well, obviously those high school players are going to be more apt to sign at those universities. And so not every state has that opportunity. So I look forward to that day, but there's no question that Tennessee is doing that. And with, and not just the development of the players, but you look at the facilities, you look at the infrastructure from the top down. It's just really come a very long way in the last couple years. And there's also one of the great X factors in college football and basketball specifically across all sports, but specifically those two with all the television revenue is look at the universities that are the most consistently elite. What do they have? They have unification and a direct vision that is unified from the absolute top of the university, presidents and chancellors, all the way through the athletic director to the coaching and player level. And the University of Tennessee has that now from uh, Dondi Plowman all the way through Danny White down to Heupel, Rick Barnes, whomever, Vitello, whomever that is. And you can tell throughout the whole athletic department Did I lose them? Are y'all there? Oh, we, yeah, got you back. Back. we got you back. We got you back. We got you. I just went on this whole diet. Yeah, no, you, you hear it? We I got know, about 99% like... of it, Marty. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, I was going to be so angry. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Um, Marty, I, I loved that you, you were saying Nico Yamaliava painting a picture and let him paint. And I'm thinking Bob Ross in my head. He's the first one that comes to <laughs> mind. Um, in terms of other quarterbacks in the SEC who maybe we haven't heard as much about uh, that could help, you know, paint a picture for their offense. Who in your travels and who, you know, you've talked to over the past couple of months, could that be? Well, you've heard of a lot of them. Um, I spent 30 minutes yesterday in Athens, Georgia, with Carson Beck, uh, who in the, the eyes of many analysts is the best returning quarterback in the country. And what an amazing journey. I can't wait for you guys to see that conversation. Uh, it'll be on SEC Nation uh, on SEC Network Saturday and potentially college game day. Don't know that yet. But you look at what guys do, and we don't – we as analysts and reporters and hosts and people who are immersed in the game, unfortunately, in a lot of cases, we look at people as players as assets. We forget the human element. And the human element is they go, they go through a lot of stuff. And Carson Beck's journey, when Stetson Bennett beat him out for the quarterback job and then went on to win two national championships, in this era where there's no patience, the value of patience in his journey is immeasurable. And now, I mean, he's, he's the guy. The expectations are paramount on him. I love Connor Wegman down at Texas A&M. I think he's a great player. Jackson Dart is a great player. Jalen Milrow is a great player. And, and I can't wait to see what happens for Jalen Milrow under Kalen DeBoer who has had such a great impact on Michael Penix over the past many years, all the way back to Indiana. And so there's a lot of really good quarterbacks in the league. And look, you have to have one. I spent 30 minutes on the phone last night with Billy Napier because we have the Miami at Florida game Saturday. And Billy was going on and on about Graham Mertz. He's like, I got a dude. I got a dude behind, behind center. And, so there's a lot of great quarterbacks in the league. And, look, if you want to win the league, if you want to be competitive, you have to. Uh, up there, Brady Cook, up there for, for Eli Drinkwitz in Columbia, Missouri. Just really good players who have tenure and a lot of time and experience behind them. 
Marty Smith of ESPN, our guest. Uh, Marty, we know you've got a, a busy schedule this morning and through the rest of the week as you get ready for the season. Wanted to ask you uh, about Game Change, what you're involved in. Uh, GoGameChange.com. Uh, explain to us just kind of the, the thought process around this and kind of a new cool um, a way for people to, to get involved with uh, at their athletic departments. Well, first of all, thank you for asking and having me on. I, I really appreciate your time, uh, all of you. Thank you for that. Go Game Change is a really – Game Change is a cool thing. You go to gogamechange.com. You input you, whatever credit or debit card you so choose. You pick the school you love. And I know y'all are asking us, do you want to round up when you're paying your bill? <laughs> that goes to myriad different charities, right? Well – that's basically what this is, but it automatically draws that uh, difference of change and immediately goes to the athletic department you chose, the school you chose. It goes directly to the athletic department, and then the athletic department chooses how to disperse that money within the department. You go to gogamechange.com, input the school you love and the card, and then that money is automatically donated to the athletic department, it is a charitable donation. So it is a tax write-off. And all of us now, like a lot of people listening to y'all's show, love Tennessee. They got a lot of money. Because a lot of money's coming from us at ESPN for the tele- the grant of rights for TV, right? But there's also a lot of people who might love Belmont. There's a lot of people who might love Middle Tennessee. They don't have that same opportunity. I went to Radford University right? Yeah. Big South Conference, very low division one. And I've worried, what are we going to do? Forget how are we going to compete? How are we going to sustain? And this is a really cool way for alumni or fans of those universities to contribute to the athletic departments that are now all sort of in this era of trying to figure out a great way to bolster themselves financially. Go GoGameChange.com, implement your credit or debit card, pick your school, and you're off and running. I just thought it was a really cool initiative. And That's I'm awesome. grateful to be involved. So yeah. thank you guys for asking. That's cool, Marty. Yes, I'm signing up and going to Absolutely. Washington State. I'm I'm giving them some of my money as I'm rounding up. All right, go Coop. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Marty Smith has been our guest. Uh, Marty, really appreciate the time. As as the season goes on, if this Tennessee team lives up to the hype, we may be reaching back out to you uh, as the season progresses. We really appreciate it. Anytime. Anytime. I, I appreciate y'all's spirit so much. I love your town. And uh, just grateful for your time. Thank you so much. Thanks, it. Marty. There's Thanks. Marty Smith of ESPN uh, talking about college football and uh, cool way for people to get involved That's sweet, with their college man. football programs. Uh, we will wrap up hour three of the show coming up next.